Big ol' mean crab. Oh, it got me. Oh, it got me. Fish on. <laughs> There's something about catching a fish. It's Aaron coming to you from Topsail Island, North Carolina. The winds have finally calmed down. I went uh, yesterday and caught a bunch of good Okay, So right now I've got but the fiddler crabs, mussels, and uh, some blue crabs. I am going to cruise across the ICW a little bit and fish kind of along the bank there. And I also want to try fishing under the bridge when there's a little less current. And I'm going to look out for some mud minnows and some mullet and maybe some shrimp. It's high tide right now. So I've got to go fish along that grass line and try to uh, trick some of these red drum into taking one of my baits. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Yeah. So, these mullet are a little big for throwing in hole, but uh, they'll be good for cutting up the uh, red drum and we'll smell that, that, all that stuff. So will the crabs and rays and whatnot. But sometimes I tend to spend too much time with the bait. I should have been fishing. I like this spot right here. I should do the trick. bait first. I guess I'll do a fiddler crab since they're making so much noise. Like, yeah, choose me, choose me. Oh, sneaky. I might throw two crabs on here. Some people say they like a more natural presentation, but I also think like two for one. All right. So I'm going to put this one over that way. Okay. We'll see if anything takes that guy. That'd be cool. I'm in need of a fish, y'all. It's a hot. All right, y'all. So there's a bunch of bait fish in here and mullet jumping, but I haven't seen any bigger swirls. So I don't know, I'm gonna try and go and kind of nosing back into one of these creeks here. If I was a red drum, that's where I would go. I think I need to get something with some smell out. So I think I'm going to um, break up one of those blue crabs. If there's a drum in the area, it will find it, hopefully. Okay, fires. Big old mean crab. I'm just gonna try to break it. Claws off. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, it got me. Oh, it got me. Ow, and with gloves on, that hurt. Oh, it's angry. It is angry. Ow, that hurt. It's like I shut it in the door in a car door. The guy on the bottom is dead. Let me take the dead guy then. All right, so I'm gonna take his claw off. I'm gonna take some of these. Get a place to put a hook. Make it a little more easier to eat. I'm just trying to make it more smelly. I'm gonna cut it in half. I don't have a cutting board. I don't play poor kayak. So I just put a cut in it and I'm just gonna break it. So that's a good chunk of crab right there. So I'm gonna hook this through one of the, the flipper things and then out through the bottom. And then we'll just throw it out there and let it soak and hope a big, big drum comes for it. It's gonna be really smelly. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna sit and wait. All right, y'all, so I'm not seeing much other than like bait activity here. Nothing's hit my blue crab. Uh, probably other than small bait. So um, I think I'm gonna pick up and maybe head a little south and check another spot along the bank. Hopefully we'll see some swirls. I'm gonna go to the back. Let's see if there's any activity. The water is really high, so it might just be a matter of time. But there's a bunch of bait back there, but no big fish. Hey y'all, so I picked a spot down here, a little further south, found a dock here. Um, so I'm gonna throw a mullet, that mullet head down this way and a fiddler crab up towards that dock. See if anything bites. Throw this along the grass line. Okay, one bait in. And then I'm gonna do a fiddler crab one here. Ow. Even that guy hurt. Dang, these crabs. Thought I hooked myself, but I did it. Some crab got me. 
Alright. I'm gonna throw you in over there. Take this big old wet glove off. Ugh. I think there's some baby aspirin up there. She makes her. We'll let those do their thing. Oh, something just jumped. That looked like a bluefish. Okay, y'all, so I got no bites at all here. So I'm going to move across the ICW into a bay that's got some creeks and stuff off of that, and hopefully that shallower water will uh, kind of show me some fish. Fingers crossed, I just can't find them yet. It's been a few hours. <sighs> Who's that? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a fox. Is that a fox? Right up here. That's teeny. I just disturbed a drum, for sure. So there's red drum in here. I feel like I can get a drum in here. All right, y'all, so I have disarmed this other crab that pinched me earlier. It didn't like it at all. So I'm just tugging. This guy's shell's really tough. All right, hopefully this will entice a big red drum. Ugh, the kayak's so gross right now. So many guts. Fish on. Yeah. Here's one, get off. Little oh, puppy guy. Come here, dude. First drum on the kayak for the year. This a little guy. All right, that's exciting. I only got one. He took that big old crab chunk too. I knew there were reds in here. I am not even gonna measure this guy because he is little. I'm just happy I caught him. All right, we'll let him go. Go, buddy. All right, I feel better now. <laughs> There's something about catching a fish. All right, y'all, so I pedaled a little further down. This place feels really fishy. Um, so I'm gonna put this mullet head on one. I just cut it and a chunk of mullet on the other. Let's see if there's some bites. There's a lot of activity over here, but I don't know what it is. Ooh, what is that? There was just a big, big swirl over there. Hey y'all, so uh, I didn't have any more luck back um, in that spot where I caught that little drum. So I headed back across the ICW, kind of back to where I first started since there's a little less water now. Maybe it'll be easier to cut a spot where there might be some fish. So I'm gonna try here for a little bit, but I'll be luck, head back to the bridge and then head back home. I got a drum, I'm happy. I'm not going home skunked. Um, it'd be nice to catch something nice and big but uh, beggars can't be choosers. So well, I'm gonna see if there's anything around here. There's definitely a jumping mullet. I don't know what they're jumping from or for, but uh, they're jumping. All right, y'all, so this is my last ditch effort to see if I can get another fish in the kayak. Uh, we'll just see if there's anything crazy. The only thing I've ever caught here is oyster toadfish. I've dropped pinfish over here and I've dropped fiddler crabs over here. And I might fool around with some bottom sweeper jig here. So I am packed up and I was just unloading my gear and just found this little tree frog that must have ridden all the way from my house. Hey, good tree frog. Hey, good tree frog. Oh, he fell. That's all right. He'll find a, a good spot there. I had fun. I caught the one drum, which is totally fine. I was happy to get one fish, uh, better than getting skunked and better than getting a blue or a lizard fish. I'd much rather get a little puppy drum. So that's a good way to start the season, hopefully break it in. And uh, once you get the first one, hopefully the rest just start falling in order. Hey, I hope you guys had fun with me today. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be bringing out a lot of stuff this spring and summer, um, going and fishing all over topsail on the kayak, in the surf, hopefully offshore, not in the kayak. <laughs> 
Uh, thank you so much for checking in. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see this year. I'm gonna keep on, keep it on. Video number one for the spring 2020. Wait, no, spring 2022. <laughs> Video number one is in the books.